Hi, thanks for watching. This is a quick look at how Google views and ranks your website in the search results. Uh, by knowing how the program works, you can use it to your advantage to increase traffic to your site. Make sure you're getting in on the first page so that way you're the first call and the first click when anybody's looking for services in your area. So I've got your website pulled up here and I like the fact you've got all your information right up top. It's easy for people to navigate with the drop down menus. Uh, you're using real pictures of service, which is great, just not some file photos that you pulled up off the internet. Uh, but beyond that, once we get down past that, we just have a whole lot of empty space with this, these reviews on the side, um, which basically we can fill this with a lot of content. The reason being is when Google is looking at your site, it's going to rank it based on two different factors. The first is the content on the site, so Google is going to first count all the words that you have on your website. It's generally looking for a minimum of 1,000 to 1,500 words. Uh, the more words on the page, the more it assumes that you're an authority on whatever it is that you do. Now, while it's also counting the words, it's looking for keywords, which would be anything that a customer would type into a Google search bar, uh, which is usually going to be a service that you offer and then also a location. Now, this is where the number of words on the page comes into play because you're only allowed to have one keyword for every 100 to 150 words of text on the page. So if we want you to be found for more search parameters, then we can easily take this space and fill it up with a lot more context so that we can add many more keywords for you to be searched. The second factor that Google is gonna to use to rank your site is based on its authority, which is basically a popularity contest of your website. Now there's two different ways to get that authority. One is what's called a citation, which is any time that your name, address, and phone number are being listed in a directory. Those directories include Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, things like that. Uh, they're usually free to get listed in. You just need to take the time to find them, fill out all the information, and submit it exactly as it's shown in Google. And the other factor for the authority is what's called a backlink which is basically when another website refers back to your website. So you can kind of equate that to almost like a customer review. If you had one review or a hundred or a thousand, that would determine how reputable your business is. Google is doing the same thing, building trust by other websites vouching for you instead of people. So to see how this all determines where your website ranks, if we go to our Google search, uh, I chose that search parameter because it shows you are the top three so I was hoping that you would show up um, but the first thing that you see is what's called the Google map pack this in order to show up in this section you need to fill out your Google business profile uh, that's free inside the Google map app you can do it right from a smartphone uh, when you're filling this out you just want to make sure you fill out all the fields that you possibly can so your services that you offer the areas even your hours of operation and you want to continuously add photos that are geotagged within your service area. Make sure you're getting those customer reviews. And then you want to get as many of those citations as possible. The directories that have your name, address, and phone number, you want to get more directory listings than anybody else. Now, underneath this is what we call the organic search results. This is where the higher the authority or the more trust Google has in your website, the higher up on the list you're going to rank. So I checked a couple different terms. Uh, home builders, I believe we're on page five. Yep, that's you're on page five. Vinyl siding, you actually did show up at the bottom of the map section, which is great. Uh, if you get a few more citations, you can probably move up and rank on this. But unfortunately, in the organic section, uh, you're on page six. So just for comparison, what I did was I just chose some people that were on the first page. Uh, just and I put all of your information into this site we call Arifs, which is a paid service that it just shows what Google sees when it crawls your website and how it ranks it based on your authority and how much content it sees. So to increase that authority with those websites that refer back to yours, um, you're going to want to try to get as many of those citations as possible, those directories with your name, address, and phone number. Uh, and then you need to get other websites that link back to yours. So, for instance, if a news article was written about, say, the top 10 siding companies in Worcester, and inside that article they mentioned your business name and they had a link that a reader could click and it would take them back to your website, that would be considered one backlink from one referring domain. 
So we just want to search for all those types of sites that we can have you referred back to to try to increase this authority. So just by comparison, if we look at some other companies that are showing up at the top of the organic listing, you can see how many referrals that they have in the search words that they're being found for. Uh, and then also the, the top of the map pack, same thing. They have a lot more other websites that are vouching for them, giving them more authority in the eyes of Google. So then if we look at your keywords, these are all the words and phrases that Google is finding on your web page. And then it also shows the volume, the number of times per month that's being searched. So what we would want to do here is do some research and find the highest volume keywords and try to make sure that, that those are on your sites you can be found for. For instance, if you take, let's see, general contractors, if you are on the first page in the first position, you'd be getting 150 views per month. Now let's say, conservatively speaking, only 10% of those actually click on your website and give you a call. So that's 15 calls per month. And then if we're even more conservative, let's say only a third of those actually get converted into customers and get a job done. So that's five jobs per month just for one keyword. Now, I don't know what your, your revenue is or the profit margin, but you can imagine if we had five customers per month just on one keyword, if we could get a few of those high volume keywords in your website ranked on the first page, that would definitely help add to your bottom line. So I hope all this information was helpful and allows you to scale your online presence over the competition. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or would like some further details. Also, we could talk about your goals and I can do some research to find out what it would take for you to reach those. I always love getting feedback as well to find out information like this is useful for you. So please let me know your thoughts. Thanks and I look forward to speaking with you.